Right, absolutely amazing and fantastic. Uh, this is Hashtag Why in the Morning. Welcome back. My good name is Sako. And you can find us on threads, uh, TikTok, including Instagram, as well as Facebook at uh, Y244 channel, personally at Brian Sako 101. Now, this is the last interview as well as the first interview of the day. So you make sure that you interact with us. We've posted an interesting question on our social media today. We are talking about martyrs, men, and polygamy. And initially in our introduction with my superstars or my co-stars, we were trying to demystify it. And uh, there's a place where we agreed that if you have the wealth, you come from a community or a family where you have resources and you're able to sustain two wives, please go ahead and do it. But if you are poor, please go look for money so that you find a better life. And a woman should not be another you know, person that to, to add on your list because you're adding problems on top of problems. Because if you can't sustain her, then why? Why, why, why do it? But then traditionally, somebody has to argue, as a man, you should, you're supposed to have like four or five women with you. I'm like, bro, which world are you living in? But anyways, away from that, uh, I have two powerful gentlemen in studio with us right here who will actually pull their mindsets into this, and I really can't wait to introduce them to you. But keep on chatting on our question on our social media. And in just a few, I'll be sampling some of your feedback as we progress with the conversation right here. Now, on my immediate right, he is Alban Nguono. He'll tell us where he comes from, as well as next to him is uh, Stephen Moy. Good morning, guys. Karibuni sana. Uh, so I'm going to start with you, Alban. Maybe just, uh, you, you, you mentioned you're a nurse. <laughs> but there are uh, nurses, female nurses. Uh, when somebody hears of a nurse, the first picture that comes in their mind is uh, a, a lady with like, a white cap on the head. <laughs> that, <laughs> that has actually been a symbol for nurses for a very long time. But yeah. things have changed, and, and now men are also nurses. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so as you've heard, I'm Alban Wonoyugi. Uh, from Presbyterian University, but then my home county is Sia County, and I'm a proud member of Sia County, that's Sia. where I come from. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, in Presbyterian, I'm in my, in my uh, final year as a student nurse. Okay. I'm also their former president, mm -hmm. and currently back in my home county, I'm also an executive in the Sia County Universities and Colleges Students Association. Yeah. So briefly about me, I'm uh, so passionate about youth, and uh, I love serving, serving humanity. All right. Yeah, and also politics goes hand in hand with humanity. All so right. that's my area. Uh, we will be MCA very soon. Yeah. Hapo ni tunaelekea. Oh, kumbe nimesema vizuri. Yeah. So, so, thank you for that, Karibu. And then, uh, Stephen? I'm Stephen Moy, and uh, I'm also a student at the Presbyterian University of East Africa, mm -hmm. uh, second year. Uh, my home county is the, the very county where the American, former American president hey, comes we from. We are sorry. <laughs> we are very sorry. We apologize in advance. <laughs> we apologize in advance. Kwenye Barack Obama na toka. And uh, the sub county is just that one of Honore Buraila Molodinka. Hey, 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 so hey, hey, that's hey. my background. Conky fire. That's all, that's all I can say. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> also the next uh -huh. president of the Presbyterian University. Mm -hmm. So love politics mm -hmm. and music. Uh, and, and on top of that, you are studying journalism. Yeah, I'm doing journalism and mass media communications. Uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> but anyways, you know, dreams are valid and we wish you well. And Karibu Sana. So let's start off with you, uh, Alban. Yeah. This topic is interesting, Sana. Uh, off air, I was trying to read you some of the comments and one of them says, uh, before Kitambo ata uongele stories a kuwa, it was automatic as a man, you should have like three, four women. I don't know, from the experience we've had from the generation we're in right now, is it right or wrong? What makes it wrong? What makes it right? And what makes it not to be okay? Okay. Uh, as an individual, I would wish to say that when we talk about polygamy, you see, uh, it's so hard to say that it's right from my own perspective because... Okay people have got different reasons why they venture into polygamy. Mm -hmm. My reason may be different from your own reason, whatever is taking you there. Okay. So maybe it could be wrong to you, but it could be right but to me. Are you getting mm -hmm. the difference? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so maybe sometimes whatever led me to be there mm -hmm. could be different from your own reason for being there. Yeah. So I can say from my own opinion, yeah, sometimes uh, it's, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. And uh, uh, from the 
previous notion that we used to have when we were growing up, because in uh, where I come from, my home county that is, there, there is a go. lot of polygamy, <laughs> and I there have to confess go. where that. you come from. Yeah. I love it when you say where you come from, because yeah. these things can be traced from the origin of culture and tradition. Yeah, that's where I'm headed to. Okay. Yeah. So you, there's a history of male, men having several wives. Yeah, there is. Even your uncle, your brother. In my grandpa. extended family, uh -huh. there is. Yeah. Okay. In my lineage where I come from. There is a history of polygamy. So I'm okay. talking from where at least I have got some point You've of view. You've seen it. And yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. And you can confirm. Yeah. All right, interesting. <laughs> come back to you. Uh, what about Stephen? Uh, do you have any story, experience, what you've seen, what you've read? Or maybe you're an example of a polygamous <laughs> man <laughs> as well. You know. Polygamy is something that follows our alleles as Africans. Okay. Uh, I will uh, divide the polygamy into two. Mm -hmm. That is uh, polygyny and uh, the polyandry. Polygyny and, and polyandry. polyandry. Yeah. Uh, polyandry, that's when women now do it. Yes. Yeah. Now okay. women practice the mm -hmm. act of having uh, multiple partners. Male partners. But now, mm -hmm. uh, I don't support that totally. Okay. But Why I not? What the reason of not accepting it? It is not logical. It is against nature. Okay. It is against the Bible, against uh -huh. the Quran. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, for females now, not yeah, for males. Yeah, for females. So. Okay, I yeah. get you. Get but you. polygamy, uh, polygyny is supported by nature. Mm -hmm. It is supported by the Bible, mm -hmm. supported in the Korans. Okay. And it follows our genes as uh, Africans. And uh, biologically, mm -hmm. a man is polygamous. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any backup or statistics, examples, a storyline? I come from uh, CIA. That's hey, the rural hey, land. Hey. And you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, <laughs> Earlier okay. on, I introduced the very country where Obama comes from. That is only CIA. Uh -huh. Now, back there, uh -huh. uh, we were born where, though in my family, there is no polygamy. I've never seen. Okay. But around, mm. everyone is polygamous. Okay. Yeah. So are you also heading on that trajectory of maybe you'll have to Oh, uh, uh, let's switch it back since you're still a student. <laughs> Are you dating several women? Three, four, five, like Kunaule backup, Kunaule wa Sunday, Kunaule wa weekend. Uyu wa kinyamaze unenda kurumu nyanonge. Because I feel like also that's another form of polygamy. Yeah. But then it can be justified. They say, you know, before you settle, you'll have kissed so many frogs. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's a saying. Uh, I'm not <laughs> manufacturing it. Please. You can read. <laughs> they say you kiss so many frogs before yeah. you finally find the one. Isn't that part of that trajectory that leads to people settling with, ah, perhaps they think Aisha is good, mm -hmm. but then let me, let me see if Njeri we can work after I'm settling with Aisha. Yeah, that's true. But then allow me to take you back a bit. Uh -huh. uh, when we talk about polygamy, then allow me to divide it again into two like uh, my friend has said. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there is polygamy and there is uh, polyamory. Okay. Yeah. Then when you talk about polygamy now, it's when there is marriage in it. Okay. But then polyamory is when now whatever we practice in campus and mm -hmm. whatever the youths are doing, that is polyamory. Whatever you're practicing now. <laughs> <laughs> Very acceptable. Yeah. But then <laughs> polyamory, uh -huh. polyamory can be found in polygamy because polygamy mm -hmm. there is marriage you yeah. can be married to two or three wives okay. but at the same time you are practicing polyamory whereby mm -hmm. you are having relationship that is intimate sexual relationship with other partners but, but you're not your married marriage. Uh, are not you, married are you I'm not married marriage. with them yeah. uh -huh. so polyamory is when now you're not married but you're having several of them secondary relationships that yeah. are intimate but then and they're not leading to a solid marriage. Yeah, it, 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 it can it, or, or it, it may can not. Lead, it may not. Same yeah. shot, you're just having fun and chilling. Yeah. Oh, so nice. what I can say about uh -huh. that is sometimes most men, because most, most youth, because this is where now we do trial and error, you want to experience every aspect of life. Utapata wasewa kisema, oh, mimi nataka time yangu ikifika settle down, I get the best. So for me to get the best, you start, you start sampling. Sampling, several, exactly. You know, yeah. So unakuwa nao wengi, uki eliminate okay. until you get to the... Are you speaking from experience? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> have, are you, have you sampled? Because uh, I feel like, yeah, you know, I feel like, yeah, for my boys, lazima sample 
two different things, several things before you finally. But then also, peer women say, you know, I, I, I can't just say you are, you are my Juliet or Romeo until we've walked down that journey with several Romeos and several Juliets. Yeah, sure. So still, it's that chain. You might chain, chain, and then in end like chain, Vizuri sana. So by the time you're settling, mm. but then it reminds me of story, a body count. As you're doing this, 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 this Malisafi and the chain, chain, remember all these, all these people you're having intimately, number in end like Exactly. End like mm. By the time you're settling, you've had intimacy with like 30 so people. people. Mm. You know, which I feel like once you realize somebody has had intimacy with 30 people, please run for your life. Exactly. Right. You see, mm -hmm. you see, like right now in campus, let me give you an experience because I've been their president, I've handled so many cases, and I'm aware of what is happening. You find a first year coming. A first year, maybe she's 19 years old. But then, within you know how for the years, third years, they like using this junior, uh, this junior freshers. <laughs> they're I, using them. Yeah, yeah. Like let, them. let me use that they're one. Using. <laughs> let me use that one. Uh -huh. So they're because using them for fun. Yeah, yeah, you'll find that for them, they are still green. They don't know things to do with campus. And yeah. now they are taking that opportunity. Uh -huh. You'll find that a lady is only 19 years old. Uh -huh. But this lady has been into relationships that are more than her years. Mm. Even see? more than the, the, his her own mom and, and, and dad exactly. have, have ever done. <laughs> yeah, in, in the name of trial and error, you are trying to experience. So it's also dangerous, like you've said. Mm. You may end up having a chain that if you start listing, you can use a lot of full scaps just yeah. listing. You need a PowerPoint presentation yeah. to make it understood. I get <laughs> you, I get you. Yes? It is, uh, it is not that dangerous. Okay. Before you test, before you decide on which brand of soda you want to take, you don't, but you don't me, test all sodas, I, unless you're paying for them, you know, before, for the shop. Bef before you say, me, I love Coke, yeah. or I love Stoney, uh -huh. you must know how Fanta tastes. Okay, but you're paying for Fanta. So you're yes, paying the price yeah, for yeah, Fanta. Yeah, you <laughs> so you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're paying the price. That, that, uh -huh. Now, if you can afford uh -huh. to test all of them, test and decide. Mm. Uh, so that uh, before you enter, you can enter into marriage without experience. Mm. Now, once you settle down, you are married, then now you start uh, looking at your, uh, this, uh, this other woman was better, mm. this other one was better. Yeah. So before you decide to settle down, you must really know mm. what you want and okay. what you don't want. That's mm. why I really support that uh, we should, uh, you, you should know what you want. Just walk around, have uh, several women and see so that you settle with one that will see that is the best. Since you support it, um, what, what will you be looking for in these three women or these two that you have that you can't get in this first one that you have? Ama who you are going to flavor different in your who you Hannah, so you are trying to bring those flavors together. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can bring the flavors together. Again, there is a love language of a man. A man has a love language. And mm. uh, just few women will understand your love language. Okay. So definitely, among them, you will find one that will understand your love language and you can settle down with that. All right. Uh, uh, let me also ask you, uh, you, if you're picking or you're intentionally choosing to have several women as your partners, life partners, because that's a marriage institution now, um, the resources, where are you getting the money to pump into her and then also pump it to this one? And now both of them have kids. Are you, are you doing something called assisted living where you're being helped by your sponsor or your family or you've been blessed to come from a wealthy family where you have all these resources and now it's time for you to just pump into this woman. I think you must have a plan. I'm a, how, how, how does it go? Yes. There you, should should be a plan. Uh, mm. you should enter into polygamy mm. if you have the finance mm. to sustain mm. these uh, people. The children will be a number of them. The wives, two or three or four you mm. should uh, have a, p a plan and wisdom to sustain this family. Mm. You should maintain peace, have the wisdom to maintain peace in your family and mm. the resources to maintain them. What so are some of these resources? <laughs> resources, <laughs> some financial of these resources? Financial resources. Mm -hmm. Financial resources and uh, maybe their ability to f fulfill their conjugal rights. Mm. Yeah. So you, you should be ready for it before you just, in a, in a Lua land, mm -hmm. mostly you find that Luas marry second wives yeah. after they get rich. Yeah. By the time an atafuta, akona bibi moja. Right. Lakini sasa, 
atawa mwingine akishapata mm. so that ako able to mm. maintain the both sides it's interesting because in the intro i said there's just something about being a lawyer and a lawyer once <laughs> ukona mali there's you you'll definitely be pushed to add a second wife yeah. let me come back to you okay. since both of you are from lower land anyways <laughs> okay what i can say is that polygamy right. is not just for everyone uh -huh. we have to clearly understand that uh. it's not for everyone so if why you're am poor, i saying don't this go for it. yeah exactly <laughs> because you won't eat that relationship yeah yeah there is love and now mm. there is these other necessities that we need. Yep. If you don't have the resources, like he has said, run away from it. Mm. Because remember, from that love and relationship, you start bringing kids. Mm. These kids, they won't eat the sweet words you have, or mm. your, 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 your handsomeness or your beautifulness, they won't eat that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will need something at the table. So yeah. it's not just for everyone. Mm. Secondly, polygamy also, for you to venture or to get into polygamy, you mm. must be someone who can multitask. Mm. Why am I saying this? First, these women that you're going to have, they mm. will have their own needs. Yeah. Example is attention. So you mm. must be someone who can be able to give equal attention. attention. Because mm. remember, if there is no equal attention, there'll be wrangle between this. Yeah. One will be unhappy. Exactly. Ah. And then mm. from the fact that one is unhappy, they'll start fighting or mm. bringing issues in that Tantrums, family. Tantrums, left, right. And so you has to, you have to be someone who can give equal attention so you have to be in a, you have to have an abundance of attention yeah you <laughs> never you, run out you of must have that so if okay. if i can elaborate that further on okay. the attention mm -hmm. like where i come from let me let me now say from the lowland where i come from mm -hmm. you find that in a home where there is polygamy there is a central meeting point mm -hmm. so this central meeting point you'll find that roles have been subdivided Assigned. whereby mm -hmm. today if it is from house one that is serving you food it's house one tomorrow is house two as you go then now when it comes to sleeping and uh, satisfying conjugal rights you also divide it today you are here tomorrow like you don't spend much of your time in one place in one house like most of the nights in one house you have to divide them so you have to be someone who can divide attention and resources nice. you see yeah mm -hmm. so that Excellent. has to be key it's not for everyone. Not right. all can be able to do that. And at what age? You know, you had mentioned uh, when you ukisha part and osasa, ule malaika na kuingia, ule roho ananza kuambia, ebu, huyu, huyu msichana na pitanga hapa wa high school, wa secondary, ama wa university. Because in Ushago, there are so many crazy things that happen in there. You hear somebody dropped out of class 8 to get mm -hmm. married to a rich guy as a second or third, fourth wife. And you ask yourself, my dear, what happened to your mind? Where did you pour your brains at? Yeah. Yeah. So what is pulling these young girls to get married to a, a, a 50 year old man who has three wives already? You know you're landing yourself in trouble. Yeah. So Nata, it's not even that fancy. Ati ame, ame, ame pay a family yako 10 million, it can compensate for what you've lost in education. So one key factor here mm -hmm. is uh, poverty. Poverty. You find that in most cases, from where we come from, from the villages where by you, fee, you see, uh, in most cases where people are uh, a bit learned, polygamy is a bit lower. But yeah. then from where you find uh, people are a bit not exposed, there is yeah. a lot of polygamy. So yeah. one key factor is uh, poverty. You find that uh, from your family, mm. there is just nothing. Mm. So we may drop out of school. Maybe you may drop out because of fee, or maybe sometimes peer pressure, because that can also lead to school dropout. And then any pregnancies. Pregnancy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, umekuja hapa nyumbani. Na unajua tu our parents. Parents are ingine, watakuona, watanza kukuona kama burden, of course. Umeka tu hapa ufanyi kitu, you don't provide our wanakulisha, but already, umesha kuwa mkubwa. We si mtoto tena. So, what next? Yeah, what <laughs> next? We mwenye hauna papers, ujamaliza shule, so mm -hmm. you can't get yourself a job, particularly yeah, to the ladies. So, ukipata yeah. an opportunity whereby kuna mwanaume mahali, ama mbaba mahali, ah. he's rich, na ana, ana, ame, ame kubali kukuchukua kama third or fourth that's wife. Fourth yeah, what will you do? You go in. So, that's oh. one leading factor to that. Right. And, and, and uh, maybe, uh, I'd also like to know from your experiences, do you think like, especially in this generation and in the season that we live in today. Mm. Marriage is not valued, there's especially learned people. There's those who are like me, I'll not get married, I don't want to get married. In fact, I don't want kids, don't even invite me in talks that talk about getting kids or husband or wife. Yeah. But then in, 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 in rural areas, they value so much marriage. Mm. 
they be like first of all ukishafika 25 na hauna dem ebu tukutafutie wacha tukutafutie you can't be 25 na hauna dem ama hauna mtu hakuna signs unaleta mtu mnaongea nini nini so as compared to in urban areas people are concerned about work people are concerned about getting money savings people are concerned about their looks or how they dress as compared in rural areas so they be like ah we end up to sasa uko 25 or 5 kuka hapa for me i support marriage okay i don't support people living a solo life mm -hmm. because solo life also it comes with uh, some respect in it you'll find mm -hmm. that people will pronounce themselves that for me i don't want to get married i don't want kids but mm -hmm. then you want relationship you see mm -hmm. yeah so when you get married at least you have got some direction that you're following yeah. but then if you're just like i don't want a marriage but at the same time you want to satisfy your own conjugal rights or the the, the rights that the feelings that you have so yeah. it comes with some form of misbehavior you'll find yeah. you start jumping from here and there you don't want to get married yes yeah. but you want to enjoy this whatever is being enjoyed in married in marriage mm -hmm. you, you but see? maybe uh, most cases you'll find these people are just awkward and weird um, awkward and weird is relative depending on <laughs> your experiences and exposure in life yeah so this person is awkward if you let me say uh, how <laughs> There's a term uh, I think he was she was a media and politics lecturer let's say she just visited what country and somebody has befriended cabbage as her lover and I make love to cabbage uh, like she is totally married to a cat a dog and and, and a cabbage tree we under love work so uh, where are we heading to as the human race you know mtu hataki watu wanataka ngombe recently we had uh, a person who turned into a dog mm. You know, the other one turned into a crocodile and being. got yes. married to a crocodile. I remember that. Yes, as in what's going on <laughs> in, the, it's, it's in this easy, universe? <laughs> it's easy to tell. It's, it is, uh -huh. it's not easy to tell mm -hmm. because right now we are having a... The world is becoming so dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, people, some of them want to be unique in their own way so mm -hmm. that they stand out. Others also, it's just being awkward like you are saying. Mm -hmm. You really can't understand the psychology of that particular person. Mm. Yeah, that's according to me. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's not easy to tell. Some mm. people it's just being awkward yeah, because uh, how can you get married to a crocodile, surely? Mm. Or cabbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, people should be married, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that is to protect the dignity and uh, the reputation of a man or a woman yeah. should be married, so that you don't misbehave. And mm. uh, those getting married to a crocodile... So, a mar sorry, just a minute. Marriage will prevent you from misbehaving. Yes. But you can be married and misbehave. Very badly, even worse than a person who is not married. But maybe you, you can misbehave. But people that will see that you have a wife will yeah. not know that you are misbehaving. You ca as you introduce yourself, even when you are a public figure, if you introduce yourself, this is my wife. Mm -hmm. There is a respect that comes. But maybe you, you don't want your wife to be in media. Like for me, I, I'll not be all the time saying, this is my son, this is my wife. I just stuck you up anywhere near social media. But some people know. Maybe my family, but not outsiders. Some friends okay. may know. It is, it is just a, a, a way of maintaining repetition mm -hmm. and uh, natural dignity. Okay. Yeah, but getting married to crocodiles, cabbages, it is uh, very weird and uh, it is a uh, cultism. Okay. It is uh, yeah, a is cult shakahola. pressure. Yeah, shakahola. Shakahola, yeah. <laughs> It yeah, is a pressure from cults and okay. social pressure okay. that leads to that. Well, I put to me hit the nail on the head. Now, uh, let's turn it back. Uh, for women, you mentioned, are you the one who mentioned polyandry or who mentioned? Polyandry. You're the one who mentioned. Now, if it, it happened vice versa, that we reach at a dispensation or at a time when women will now be wanting to get married to you. In fact, women will be marrying. Because <laughs> mm. for us men, we married the woman. Now the roles have been reversed. It's women on the other side. Now they're the one calling the shots. They'll be like, wewe ntakuwa hii mwaka, wewe utolewa hii mwaka, wewe unalipua mahari. And somebody said it somehow in India, it, it's happening. Where like, this Hindu lady gets, marries you and she pays your dowry. Yeah, it happens. And you're now in that. As in, how do you feel <laughs> as a man um, being married to a woman? Uh, biologically, mm. a woman produces one egg mm -hmm. every month. Mm. One. Okay. One active 
egg Nas, every month. Nas, can you confirm that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's doctor. biologically true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every w- one egg. Yeah, one active mm-hmm. egg every month. So in short, it's in Azaisha. A man uh-huh. produces as well as Azaisha. Well as well as well as well. uh, they can't. So you want to say menopause? Yeah, there is menopause, but reaching menopause doesn't mean that um, Maliza, you are over all the over that you have. Uh-huh. Remember, so, uh, something, di- like, le- let me get out of the, the topic. Let's Just get into medical yeah. medicine <laughs> now. To yeah, you see, topic, yeah. ladies, like a small girl, hmm. uh, at, at the time of birth, hmm. she's already born with a certain number of eggs. Ova. Oh, ova. Yeah, ova. That is Somebody plural. said that 300 and something or 400 and something? F- 400 and something. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to quote the exact number because yeah. depending on different sources. Okay. Now, a, a small girl will be born with exact amount of ova mm-hmm. in her ovaries. Uh-huh. But then as she grows up, she will mm-hmm. only be releasing one every month as she goes. But it doesn't mean that she Is will deplete all, all this. Uh-huh. Unlike men, but your sperms are being produced as you grow. You don't yeah. have the exact number. And they produce you and, Yeah. Okay, yeah. so as we see Isha, but when you are a it's true. Yeah, I am back to the topic <laughs> to my talk medicine school. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, around uh, a man produces around 120 million sperms per day. Confirm, nurse, it's true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> 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 now if you look at this, mm-hmm. uh, sex the main aim for sex is for procreation. Mm-hmm. Now, if you now nature go back to nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, Naturally, a woman produces one egg mm-hmm. per month. Mm-hmm. A man produces 120. If you calculate, 30 men are enough to impregnate all women in mm-hmm. the world. 30 men. Okay. Yeah, if you calculate that. So, uh, there is no way a woman can now decide to marry to a, a, a four men now that it's weird and it is biologically incorrect. Mm-hmm. It is against nature, yeah. and it's against the religion. Mm-hmm. It's against God. Okay, but, but then home. I, I have to I I, I beg to, to differ, differ with him a bit. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, you see, uh, now that I love politics a lot, okay. and uh, I base my part of my reasoning from the constitution. Mm-hmm. You see, even those ladies, they have got their own rights. Yeah. Yeah, they, they 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 have the autonomy to decide on what they want. Mm-hmm. Now, if a lady meets a man that is willing to get married to her. It's yeah. okay. It's all and yeah. good. They can mm-hmm. get married, and maybe, who knows, they may pro- prosper more than any other person. Okay. She can get married to, depending on, on, on that particular man. Yeah? yeah. You see? Like in India, it happens sometimes. The, yeah. the women are the people who are... Who pay dowry. Yeah, pay dowry married. to the men. So mm-hmm. it's like the, the man is married. married. Yeah. So it depends with the agreement that you guys have. Does it not water down the masculinity? Because, <laughs> like he mentioned, nature, a man you're rough, you should provide, you have a, you know, yeah. you're always the one making the moves. It and does. The woman has to sit there and submit. Yeah, that's where yeah. I was headed to now. Okay. It's well and good. You guys can get married. But mm-hmm. then inside this marriage, there is some things you really must know. Mm-hmm. Because men, we are biologically different from lady. A lady can never be a man, and a man can never be a lady. Yeah. From the way your, your biological uh, aspect is, is different mm-hmm. from the uh, uh, woman. Yeah. So you can't tell me that you can start performing the role Woman's of a wife. Roles. Yeah, yeah, you cannot. It will yeah. reach a time when, uh, sometimes even if I can use you as an example, Kuna wakati you pale nyumbani, you can cook willingly, but in Afrika wakati you don't even have that Ata yeah. ujisikina kufanya bitu kama hizo. And you wish you had somebody cooking for you. Exactly. And it feels good to be cooked for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All the time. Unapata sometimes hata umetoka umenda hoteli, but you have everything in the in house. The house yeah. But a lady, rarely, utaipata kama umetoka umenda kwa hoteli, but hakuna vitu wa pundani. Yeah. Ni kitu tu iku ndani yao. Unona? Right. So, like it's womanly instincts. Yeah. And manly instincts. Yeah. yeah. So, in uh-huh. a, I support it, yes, because it's their right. But yeah. then as a man, you yeah. must put... Those nini, there, there are certain things you have to put right in this marriage. Usame yeah. too, there are my roles that I have to perform and yours. Because a man can never be a lady and a lady can never be a man. Yeah, but it seems like in this generation we're trying to normalize women being men and, and men, men being, being women, women. Which is so and, wrong. Okay. But then also, th- it has reminded me of that saying the, that 
a lot of women say is what a woman can do, what a man can do, a, a woman can do it better. better. Mm. I don't know if it's also trying to take it in that trajectory. But then if you look at it in reality, there's a lot of women who've taken over men's spaces. Initially, we never used to have women who could repair a drainage system. Now they're everywhere. We never used to have women climbing on top of, you know, like fixing right now a, a light technical issue. There's a lady I'm going to fix my wires. Initially, it was, in fact, it was a taboo to see a woman climb a tree and open, you know, move bigger. In fact, just moving bigger steps, it's, you're like, no, a, a lady should not be moving bigger steps. You're supposed to be, you know, very delicate. But now, they're doing everything that men are doing. It's true. So, is it not moving it to that aspect? And now, women can also call the shots. They have the power to say, yeah, I, I can marry you if you can't marry me. It's true. Uh, yeah, that is happening right now. And uh, that is also part of the cause of whatever we are talking about, uh, a, a person just being ambiguous, let me say so. Uh -huh. Because if I can give you an example of uh, this uh, single parenthood, you'll find that in a family whereby a child grows without a father, yeah. it's right, some of them thrive and eventually they turn out to be something just good. Fine. But then yeah. there is something that this person is lacking. lacking. Mm -hmm. The same same way, if a lady starts performing uh, a man role mm -hmm. or the roles that are meant for, there is something that will automatically not turn to be right. So I'm always not in support of that. Yeah. Yeah, because when it turns that way, the, the kids you are going to, to bring up, generally as men you have to be strong, you have to be someone, you just have to be, to stand out to be stronger than the lady. But then yeah. now think of a family where a woman is now the head and then uh, like the, the woman is still the father and still yeah, the mother. Yeah. You'll find the, the kind of boys that are going to grow up in that family. They'll, they'll have be, women tendencies. Yeah, be yeah they'll, they'll, they'll be girlish. They'll start behaving like, okay. yeah, which is not right. Also, you're discouraging single mothers. I'm not discouraging single mothers. Yeah. But then it is something that... A single motherhood, not it, single mothers. Hey, English, please. Yeah, single motherhood. <laughs> yeah. If it were me, then we should discourage single motherhood. Let me bring it back that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but can women call the shots and marry whoever they want? In terms of the, she can have several partners, like one, two, three. The same way where culture in a accept in this day and age. It is. Uh, it is possible for is a woman a, to marry several. It is possible, men? but again, it's unfortunate. You mm -hmm. mentioned uh, you quoted India. Mm -hmm. It is not uh, necessarily a fact that because. Uh, uh, the women pay for dowry, now m m they take the role for men. It is mm. just one of the transferred duties okay. to women. Nekulipa to your dowry. Not everything now that men should do, now they do. Uh. Men, men, they provide for family, for their families. Yeah. And uh, it, it is like that. Mm. Uh, but uh, again, uh, there is no way now a woman can now decide to have maybe just relationships. It is right. It can be right. Eh? Mm. Just a relationship, several relationships. This again is pointing out to cheating. Because <laughs> when you have several <laughs> relationships, but I'm it means you're committed, to, you're committed to this one person, but then you have other commitments with yes. like five guys. Yes. So it, you're cheating. It happens. That's just cheating. Okay. But now polyandry, now that can be very unfortunate that you see your sister marrying four men. These are my husbands. It's awkward, weird, and barbaric. Okay, and just right there before you proceed. What happens to these soft life ambassadors when you're mekwa? Major Lisa Maskumoja Taki Kongena, Kijana Mekwa Rwak, Kosomiak. What's now happening today? See, I'm in my soft life. But not me, me is stucky. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. People are also looking. money will make you yes. to Some get married. Some men are using that uh -huh. as a way of income. It uh -huh. is a job to them. Oh, it is pain. It is just like coming, uh, do, doing any other job, going mm. and working in the bank. Once mm. you are a man, Na umfanyevit wanataka. After all, you are after money. So you, you are, are not hired. after the you are not after kuekwa. Like oh, you are hired. You are, yes, you okay. are after money. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. Yeah, you are after money and uh, if you are wise, use the, the finances unapata vizuri. 
na utoke uende uoe msichana wako kwa na <laughs> I hope na ndika na me tampering to our fellows in campus like when i say hey bro na teseka tafuta mtu mbona unateseka Nairobi capital city ya Kenya unaangaika unatafuta nini kwa maisha but then they forget that life is a process and they say easy come easy go whatever you get easily goes away easily instead of trusting the process you want the process to trust you and you have to take your own corner so that you reach this thing that you should be getting at 40 you have it at 20 and you don't have the wisdom to manage it even crazy relationships uh, now that you said you should, men are allowed to have so many partners are you gathering experience you know of intimacy uh, staying in a marriage because uh, you, you you mentioned at some point that you can be married and don't have experience and learn from that marriage yes, you mentioned true. it right yeah But then now uh we um say when you have some experiences come at that yard in a body count some sini haja pick enough wisdom ya kusettle tu na mtu mmoja ni lazima alete watu 20 okay okay so you see what's happening here people uh-huh. are totally different like uh-huh. ukikumbuka niki nikianza i was saying uh-huh. and ni a psychology yako ni different with my own psychology uh-huh. yeah kuna mtu akiwa in this particular relationship uh-huh. atalan Yeah. By the time anafika kwenye anataka at the end pale asha learn ya kutosha so he is ready na kuna mse mwenye hata kimsubject to even 30 or 40 relationship he will never learn hata ipata bado yeah. then also it depends with fate it's not a must that lazima tukue kwa a series a chain of relationship for us to get now a better partner later on kuna yeah. mse yako tu na fit fit sana yeah yeah ata land in one relationship anapata everything that he's looking for mm. in this one person it happens i have seen that Yeah. yeah kuna watu hata wanaanza ma, uh, campus pamoja yeah. ana start a relationship ana, anapatana na partner wake hapo yeah. they end up getting married so it happens it's not naturally that when you get into a chain of relationship that is now learning it's not because unaweza end up hapa katikati pia in the process of in the name of learning mm-hmm. umejaribu because yeah. kuna so many things that happens kuna diseases that we encounter unapata mse hajai kuwa na nini na sasa amekuja akapatana nayo na ukedi yeah. and all sorts of nini so it's not a must that lazima tukue kwa chain of relationships for us to learn yeah. i concur mm-hmm. you agree just a yeah. minute uh, we have like three minutes and then we go uh kwa comments there's somebody who had a very interesting mindset uh <laughs> atiju if you consider people of the past years i mean the kinagukas most of them had more than one wife and this may be transferred to the next generation so it's an inherited chain yeah. mm-hmm. so this person says polygamy is inherited it is in genes it's, it's in the genes mm-hmm. yeah so even as a cosa kuna hizo genes pia ah wezi mwanaume natural mwanaume is natural okay a good one uh, so the question should be ni nini mwanaume anatafuta kwa wanawake 1 2 3 na hajawahi pata huyo anaitwa Rashid Musa ako down home na ako tuned in mhm Uh, kuna mgeni hapa anaitwa Dorings Yoka anasema hello i'm morning hello uh, watching from Machakos uh, <laughs> okay so so i'm saying about accept the fact that a man is naturally polygamous but I respect na ikuwe dominant yeah. you agree yeah i agree yeah. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so advocate of polygamy ndio am kutaka ku arrest muongoje pale kwa gate ya KBC all right uh, there's one anaitwa King Chomba XC anasema In natural from way back before Christ men had many wives since one could not satisfy their wants. Hmm. Okay. Let, let me answer uh, I don't know the name the one in Donholm. And it was Kapa. And it was Rashid Musa. Yeah, let me answer Rashid Musa. Hmm. Uh the the, the 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 point of view of Rashid Musa just repeat for me there that. Uh, sama, the question should be ni nini mwanamume anatafuta kwa wanawake 1 2 3 na hajawahi yeah. pata. I wanted them to get that question. Uh-huh. You see what's happening sometimes there are people who are naturally polyamorous. You were born that way the way he's saying it's in your genes you are just naturally that way. Uh-huh. Wewe uko tu hivyo. So it, you may find that see ati kuna kitu natafuta specific that's who you are. Mm. Yeah that's who you are na even ndio kitambo wenye watu wengine waliko like I have a uncle of mine yeah. that who he is na familia yake inaendelea vizuri akujawahi kuwa na commotion that who he is Ajai pigana Yeah so hakuna yeah. kitu yeye anatafuta unaona Yeah But in this day and age it's condemned that uh, <laughs> Marcos's co-songo up all the no they can't accept someone who has another wife or she can't be accepted as a second priority depending on her value and her worth Yeah Now uh, that one will be depend with the wisdom of a man Uh-huh. You no know, no I don't know No I'm looking at it from the 
perspective of this woman. She is learned, yes. she has the job, she has the money, she has the exposure, but unataka kumoa a second now, wife. Now, if I'm married to her, uh -huh. then uh, maybe for 10 years, mm -hmm. then uh, yeah, gundue tu ni kona bibi mwingine, na ni kona watoto, haku anajua, uh -huh. na I'm already married to You're her. You're shock, no Sasa, surprise. Sasa, afanya nini, ata, ata divorce. Exit, of course. Sasa, it is now the, her choice, eh? So but but if you compare, <laughs> if you can yeah. compare sharing a man with uh, another woman and uh, divorcing a 10 years marriage, I don't know which one is better according to Hannah. Mm. But then hey, Brian, okay. just give me one minute. Please. I tell you this. You see what's happening. Remember, mm. you are forgetting something. Mm. I told you polygamy is not for everyone. There are certain mm. ladies who cannot just settle in polygamy. It's not nice. theirs. It's not for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Their, level of, can yeah, their level of jealousy is over Ex exaggerated <laughs> so they can't just imagine being yeah. in, a, in a in a in a marriage whereby they have they're sharing a man yeah, yeah. so but there's those who can accept there are those who can accept yeah, yeah. even yeah. if she has all the qualities of the most worthy woman in the world yeah but she can accept they can also be forced to accept or women can be forced <laughs> to accept so this particular one you are, you are talking about yeah. is a kind that can never get into such yeah. so she's not for polygamy all right yeah. So, so we have to go. Uh, I'm told that, 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 that we have to exit. Uh, your social media, Moja to Moja to Pekak. Pale in YouTube, or in Pachakama Jatelo. Okay. Yeah, that's my YouTube channel. You? YouTube, Moy Steven, TikTok, Moy Steven, so. Facebook, Python, Damu Yakisiran. Hey, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, Alban and Steven. We have to go for sharing your insights today. All right, many thanks for watching and keeping us company. We catch you tomorrow for Entrepreneurship Tuesday and Health Tuesday at Y244 channel at Brian Sakono. And see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic Monday.